So the Lexus GX has always been one of my favorite SUVs. Now the GX 460 has been out since 2010. So you could call it pretty dated, but this is the 2022 GX 460. I'm at the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. Let's take a look at it. So the GX 460 starts at $56,000, but a top end GX 460 could be a little bit over 70 grand. This one is a premium in nori green. I really, really like this color. It also has the black line package, which gives you black wheels, black roof rails, and a few other things like the black grill. This looks a lot better on the GX compared to the chrome grill. I really don't like how gaudy the chrome looks. This one also has full LED headlights. I really like what Lexus has done with the refreshed GX. They've actually gone through, I think, three 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 different refreshes in the gx 460 life but i really like the triple beam leds under the hood of the gx 460 it's used the same exact powertrain since 2010. this is a 4.6 liter v8 it makes 301 horsepower and 329 pound feet of torque unfortunately gas mileage isn't a strong suit with the gx but that's not really why you buy one of these you should expect 16 mpg combined with premium fuel you could you know, pass with mid-grade, but Lexus recommends premium fuel. I really like how the GX looks, especially in Nori Green with the black line package. It just looks so sharp and it's such a nice metallic finish to it, but it has 18 inch alloy wheels, of course, in a black finish wrapped around all season tires. So no all terrains because, you know, most of these are on the road anyway. Towards the rear of the GX, you have LED brake lights and tail lights, but the turn signals and reverse lights are incandescent. Now, something with the GX, it has a swing tailgate, which is nice. You also have a pop-up glass hatch up here, which is something very handy. And a lot of SUVs are losing that, but I'm glad Lexus still has that. And I'm interested to see what Lexus does in the next generation of GX. Trunk space with the third row down isn't too bad. It's a bit smaller than a Forerunner, but it's, I'd say about class competitive. But with the third row up, you can keep going. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's clearly no room in there. I mean, you could put like a sandwich, a uh, McDonald's bag, you know, a bagel, something small in here. But, you know, you can't fit. This is a seven passenger SUV. I really don't see how comfortably you could fit seven people with their stuff without putting stuff on the roof or towing things. Speaking about towing, the GX460 can tow up to 6,500 pounds. It does have, oh, this one. This one doesn't have a tow hitch on it, but you would have a class two hitch with a seven and four pin trailer plug. Inside of the GX, it's always been a very pleasant place to be when it's not overloaded with stuff, but step in height is really nice. I really love these. Now they're based on the fifth gen 4Runner or the Land Cruiser Prado in other countries. So it will be pretty familiar and it's not too much of a big SUV. It was refreshed for 2021 and it was given this nice touchscreen infotainment system, a lot nicer and a lot better to use than the archaic system in the old GX. It worked, but it didn't have things like CarPlay and Android Auto, which this finally has. And I like that, you know, the touchscreen is pretty responsive, you know, you can still do the split screen. And it also has the touchpad, which I'd rather just have a better working touchscreen than a mouse pad, because you still have, you know, the map and menu buttons. After a while, you do get used to it, but I don't, I'd rather just touch the thing on the screen. But it's a lot better than the old screen and the old system. This has knobs for downhill assist and the four wheel drive down here. I actually thought that was the temperature control, but the temperature controls are these little toggles, uh, which mm, if you're wearing gloves or something, or if you just get in this, it would take me, it took me some time to figure out where they were. And then two mighty cup holders, old Lexuses. If my friends with old Lexuses on YouTube, you know that they don't have many cup holders. So I'm not, it's so nice to be in one that has cup holders here, cup holders on the door. All four windows are automatic. The driver's seat and steering wheel and also mirrors have memory. The seats are really comfortable. That's always been a strong suit for the GX 460. Really nice. The steering wheel, they gave it a new steering wheel a few years ago. It's the same one off of the RX. In this one, it is heated, which is so nice, and the leather feels good. Now, speaking about the leather, the seats, everything, everything just has a nice quality feeling to it. I also want to talk about the gauges. They're 
analog, which actually don't bother me because they look really nice. You have analog readouts and a little color information screen in the middle, so it's not too bad. But I'm very comfortable in here. So in the back seat of the GX, like I said, since you have the running boards, which I find running boards useless, but it is it does help. And you also have grab handles up here. Cars are getting rid of grab handles, and that makes me upset because it just makes it harder to get into. But close the door, nice solid thunk. For the sake of lighting, I may leave the door open. But the quality remains the same as the front seat. Nice soft touch materials everywhere you feel. The rear windows are automatic. The rear seat, in terms of legroom and comfort, it does slide fore and aft interesting vocabulary that I used, but I can fit my feet under the seat. You have foot well lighting for the rear seats as well. That's a nice quality. Legroom is superb. You have map pockets back here. You have the third zone for the climate control and you also have heated rear seats, but not ventilated rear seats as the new Sequoia has. That's something to compare it to. Nice center armrest here. Kind of low, but that's okay. Two okay size cup holders you know but there are cup holders in the door in terms of headroom this thing is a box i have plenty of headroom third row i'm not too sure about that and you guys are going to watch me suffer so getting into the third row of the gx you may need to be a little bit limber so take some uh pilates or yoga or something because you have to crawl up here the opening is quite small luckily you don't have to see my buttocks Oh, unless if you do want to see my buttocks. Wink, wink, nud, 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 nudge, nudge, nut, nut, nut. But to get to the bottom of this, there's this little lever here. No. What you do? Oh, you just pull it up. It reminds me of my old XC90. But let's sit back here. Okay, headroom isn't that bad. Took some wind out of me. Let's pull this back. That might be a lethal move. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, when you slide the seat back, if you want space in the third row, then the person in the second row has no room. What I'm gonna do for the sake of video is, sorry Lexus for being stupid in your car, slide the seat to where someone with legs would fit, and then fit back here. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I feel bad for people that would sit here a long time. Headroom, my head is touching the ceiling, just barely grazing. There's like hands, like, you know, room for my hands, you know, in front of my knees. My feet do fit under the seat. It's not terrible. I've been in worse, like the old GX470. That's even smaller than this. So it's not terrible. It could work. I'm actually, I'm actually, more surprised than I thought I would, and I know I'm sitting on the headrest, but they sit right up against the glass, so it's not bad, but I'm gonna get out of here before I pull a muscle. So my friends, it's a quick look at the 2022 Lexus GX460 in the beautiful Nori Green. I really love this SUV, but it is getting long in the tooth. It's been long in the tooth, so Lexus is planning on bringing us a new version of the GX pretty soon, so I'm hoping that it somewhat stays to its roots but i know lexus and toyota are getting rid of their v8 engines so we'll see but thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing i'll see you in the next one bye peeps